Yo, yo, yo. I just realized I was talking into the camera and didn't hit record. So that sucks. But I still have some eggs left, so it's still breakfast with Bev. I've got eggs again today. I got my little mug. It's not morning time, but it was a good morning. I'm feeling more like myself today. I uh, did a bunch of cleaning, cleaned up the studio, cleaned up the kitchen, ran some errands, restocked on food, so now I got eggs to make again for the breakfast. I'm not quite like back to a normal routine, um, but at least my, my mood is normal. My areas of workspaces are, are cleaned up. I'm building the foundation so that I can get back on my feet with a normal routine tomorrow. I went on a little mission today. We went out on the town a couple nights ago and um, we were just walking around downtown and stuff. And at one point we walked through an alleyway and there was like a bathtub sitting there. I guess it was scrap. It was like sitting next to the trash cans to be hauled away later. And we took some pictures in it, in the bathtub, because uh, it was funny. And then I was looking back on those pictures today and there was like a bunch of nice scrap wood next to the bathtub. And so I was like, ooh, that's kind of good. Cause I saw like, it was like this big structure made of like two by fours and two by sixes. I don't know what it was, um, but it also had some like steel bars on it. Some of the, like those nice ones that, cause I was just shopping for them for my Tucson when I was building the roof rack mounting beams. It was like a piece of steel that was probably 15, 25 bucks. So I was like, hey, I could use that. Let me go grab it. But I didn't know where it was exactly. I knew generally the area, but I didn't know where. So I had a little mission today where I was driving around trying to figure it out. And then once I got the general area, I walked down the alleys to try to figure out exactly where it was. It was behind a gay bar, actually. There's this gay bar called the Back Door that's in the back alley behind a different bar. So it was funny, I took a bunch of scrap wood from a gay bar today. I like using scrap materials because there's always a story behind it. It's like you can go to the store and get two by fours, but that's not as memorable. And I, I try not to hoard scrap materials too much, but um, when there's good stuff with a good story attached to it, I like to go for it. Cause it's like, I don't know what I'm gonna use that steel for. I don't know what I'm gonna use those uh, beams for. But at some point it's like, oh, this table is made out of, the frame of this table is made from wood that I took from a back alley gay bar. It's like, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Also, all the wood is painted blue for some reason. I don't know. I don't even know what it was. It's like some sort of weird box structure, but it has like a hinge on it or something. I don't know. It might have been like a bench or, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling more like myself. Oh, my camera is coming tomorrow. Uh, it just arrived in the Bloomington Distribution Center today. So it should be out for delivery tomorrow. That'll be excited to fool around with. Um, I'm gonna try to get, I'm gonna try to wake up in the morning pretty early again, get a lot of work done for my job so that by the time that arrives at like 2 p.m. or whenever the mail comes, I'll have a lot of free time to just screw around with it. Oh, except we have, we have house tours tomorrow too. They scheduled two tours of our place, the, the landlords did. One of them was literally today, they, they messaged us at like 5 p.m. and they said, 4 p.m. tomorrow, you have a tour. I don't know how normal that is, but scheduling a tour of your place less than 24 hours away. It's kinda, that's kinda crazy. So yeah, we have a tour at 2.30 and a tour at four. So that's not gonna be an extremely productive couple hours there. So yeah, I'll try to get a lot of work done in the morning. I was doing a bit of shopping today, looking for winter stuff. I've worn through like all of my pairs of pants. I think I've worn this pair of green pants in every Breakfast with Bev episode. I just get like paint and engine oil and stuff on them. And some of them are like tearing through. But pants shopping is really hard when you're freaking six foot eight. Most companies will make up to like a 34 inch inseam. And the ones that I'm wearing now are 40 inch inseam. 38 is pretty good. I have to go to like specialty places to get pants that fit right. And they cost like 90 bucks which is like, the quality's fine, 
with the company that I go with, but for that price, I could be buying like a nice pair of Patagonia work pants. So we'll see, when I get paid next month, I will uh, I'll try some stuff out. We have a date locked in for the dune trip, which is really exciting. So we're taking the Tucson and Remington's Jeep. Me, him, and Pappas, we're gonna go up to the Silver Lake Dunes in Michigan. It's about a week and a half out. We'll make a little video on the adventure. That's gonna be fun. But anyway, for now, that's it. I will hopefully see you tomorrow in the morning. Back to the routine.